welcome to Sino Technologies, Java real time project FAQs. These FAQs more than enough to crack your interviews. More than enough to crack your interviews. So, first FAQ is if you go for either fresher or like experience, irrespective of the experience, they will be asking. First question is, please tell me about yourself. Please introduce about yourself. May I know about you? In this first question, you have to give answer like, hey, your name, okay, introduce with your name, introduce with your educational qualification. Next, you need to talk about your okay, experience experience you you need to talk about your tech stack technology stacks what of technology stack you have been used in your projects and what you know you need to talk about your companies that means what is your current company and past companies, if you have. Now, next one, sixth one, you have to talk about domain. What project domains you have been working till now? Have you been working banking? Okay, have you been working telecom? Have you been working healthcare? You have to talk about all these domain names team so that's all see you need to know okay, everything here okay next one can you explain about your current project that means what is your latest project okay explain explain latest project in your resume latest project in your resume you have to explain that latest project to team you have to start my project goal is this i did this project you have to talk about that project okay goal aim how many modules are there in this project which module you have been work each module you you did work you have work and and you know you should explain you now here how many components to implement that module? How many REST APIs you have been developed? Okay, all these things you have okay, explained clearly. Team. Next one, how did you get the requirements from the client? You have to okay, explain about your client bridge calls, about your client's bridge calls, how the client bridge calls will, will be happening. You have to explain client or your product team will upload the requirements into SharePoint. Okay, so you have to be okay, explain very clearly. Team. Can you explain your scrum process? You have to explain scrum process means okay, interviews are asking, have you used agile approach or not? If they are using agile approach, then they will be asking who is your product owner they will be asking what is the sprint backlog what is the sprint refinement they would be asking all these questions what is the sprint duration what is the sprint duration can you explain you have what is the sprint stand up call daily scrum stand up call how the stand up call everything team stand up calls they would be asking all and sprint to demos okay you have to be okay, explain all the process if possible explain sprint life cycle also sprint life cycle also team again see please tell me about yourself can you explain your project architecture how did you get the okay, requirements from the clients can you explain your scrum process immediately client is asking hey what is your project architecture 
what is your project architecture means project architecture means how the different systems can communicate with each other how the different systems can communicate with each other is called project architecture in our project are we using in our project are you using api gateways in our project are we using what are the components you are using are we using rest api in our project are we using redis cache in our project are we using databases in our project are we using kafka in our project are we using service calls means one service call would be calling another calls in our project are we using okay database calls see how all this communicate with each other so you have to represent all this and communicate with each other in in your project if you have any batch jobs by any chance so how the different systems can communicate with each other each other is called a project architecture now if you go here simple architecture it is our previous batch of real time project architecture it is we have a different clients it is api gateway you have n number of api gateways are there request will come to this gateway we have these many micro services product service offer service auth service promo code service redemption service how this services can interact with redis cache how this services can interact with their databases everything team how this services can interact with kafka how this services can interact with another micro service which is called a card verify service and which is called a notification service how this services can communicate with the eureka which is called spring cloud okay eureka server means okay discovery server how this services would be registered with the spring cloud config server everything team architecture means how the how the different components can integrate can communicate with each other is called a architecture that one you have to be okay to explain team you have to draw this architecture in front of the interviewer you have to explain hey here is my my whole application we are using okay aws cloud our application would be deployed into okay, aws our client is a some workless client now here see our application would be deployed into here these many components we have been used in our project these are the, our backend system or our external systems here we have our, our redis cache here you have a spring batch how the batch job can be executed internally everything you should explain team everything you should be explained you know in our in your architecture team okay so please okay take care this one okay, next one what is your project technical flow project technical flow means so in code level in in code level in code level how the in code level from where the request will come from where the request will come comma how these validations can be performed how these uh, services comma dao called everything in code in code in code each and every class each and every class how how uh, you know how how it will be called you know and what will be executed and what it will be okay, executed you have to okay, explain team you need to tell team how you should tell hey my client will send a request to my controller what request here json request because it is a service what my controller will do in my controller 
here Jackson is there. Jackson will convert with JSON to Java object. Here, if you do validate the request here, here we have a class is called request to validator. If the request is a validation is a success, then request will go to service. Request will go to service class. Here we are performing some business logic here. Here we are once it is valid call service. Here we are performing some business logics team. What kind of business logics and all. Once all is okay, call from service to DAO. DAO will call to database. Understood team? See how the how you are technical flow this is the technical flow means according to the client requirement client will give the business requirement now according to the business requirement prepare the swagger documentation according to the swagger documentation prepare the request and response model classes once you got the model classes then request will goes to your controller inside of the controller what will be happen your json will be converting into java object once it is java object is okay validate the request if the request is valid call to your service inside of this service uh, you know perform so many business logics sequential calls parallel calls you know data transformation data manipulation so so many you should write inside of this service once it is okay from this service call to your integration call to your integration integration means backend system if your backend is database integration support will write the dao if your backend is f service integration layer will write the code is called service client code if the backend is called mq you will write here mq client code if the backend is called you know mq like kafka write the kafka client code ultimately integration layer is used to communicate the backend system what is your backend the corresponding client code you should write inside of this integration call to your backend system and get the data you have to explain very clearly team what is your project okay technical flow means next one what type of security you have used in your project hey we are using in in our project what 2.0 for authentication authorization these days what 2.0 common you know we are using what 2.0 for application level security for authentication and authorization we are using this one after that still they are asking yes we have been used network level security for SSL. So most of our application would be used for SSL. We have used for network level security. The third one, in our previous project, we got the opportunity to implement message level security also. Message level security also. Message level security means how the applying for Okay, encryption and decryption of your request. How they apply for encryption and decryption of your messages. And also how to apply, how to apply digital signature. Digital signature team is it's very, very important. Digital signature. See, legacy projects are using this. Now all traditional projects are using what and network level security you have to know team how ssl will work internally how ssl will work internally we will explain everything is clearly team to cover this you should know the strong knowledge on what is in public key and what is private key what is key store what is key tool okay and also what is ca ca stands for certificate authority ca stands for certificate authority you have to be clear team okay everything on this if you know all these things 
it will be easy to understand this tough team next one how did you improve your application performance so many ways first one is our is 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 our logics are good is our programming logics are good is our programming logics logics are written in effective in 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 okay efficient way in okay efficient way that means who is the good programmer who will write the less number of lines code that guy is the good programmer you cannot write you know simple simple logic in 10 lines 20 lines 100 logics you know okay 100 lines you have to you have to write logic in less number of lines use uh, use the lambda expressions use okay functional interfaces you now use stream apis to write the how to write optimized code sometimes what happened you know because of you wrote bad code okay due to this bad code also your application performance is not good so you are not using uh, properly singletons you are not using uh you know you are not using properly you know uh proper code that's why these kind of problems will come you have to be write effective code first if you have after effective code still if any issues will be coming so try to reduce try to reduce try to reduce number of number of back end service calls sometimes what happened you know if your architecture is in legacy architecture unnecessary to get the data even though with a single call you can get the data but due to some bad design you are making two three service calls to the back end system to get the data that was wrong try to understand your domain of your application try to understand your existing architecture how to optimize how to tune he will tell hey here no need to two three backend calls we can reduce one after that try to implement okay implement caching like okay redis caching so that instead of okay, every time it will go for your backend system get the data first time it will go for backend system from second time it will you know get it the data from the caching if the data is not present in caching then only you will go to your backend system fourth one fourth one identify now here okay implement implement parallel calls wherever required okay instead of sequential calls these are the areas how to improve your application interviews are asking hey can you explain how to improve your application performance yes you should tell first our program should be in more structured way more okay efficient way developers should write the code next to try to reduce number of back-end calls number of okay back-end calls try to implement the caching implement um, parallel calls and never required okay instead of sequential calls okay, next one team what are the problems or risk you have been faced in our project so many problems so first two problems you know in our in our previous project by mistake we kept uh, scope is a okay, singleton okay configured scope as scope as singleton singleton okay, instead of prototype you may ask okay you may ask did you do over testing in non-prod yes we did okay testing unfortunately this was not uh, you know identified our qe team if the project will move into production in in production so here most of the customers are uh, you know seeing same type of data most of the customers are seeing same type of data it is an issue okay next one is so by default the threads are 
not closed okay, when threads are not shut down properly okay, threads not okay, shut down threads are not shut down properly due to this every week every week our our application our application got restarted and getting out of memory issues and getting out of memory issue out of memory issue so later we identified that okay problem is with where here okay problem is with our code only this first two are problem with the code next to two it may be problem with okay, infrastructure issues who knows infrastructure side they configured okay, okay, wrongly so we have see even though uh, you know communicate with okay, int, okay, intranet services they configured you know okay, publicly publicly means okay, request will come from okay, externally due to some more ne network routing performance issues will come due to more network routings to invoke the service calls understood so many problems are in risk now we have been okay facing all these issues now i got the chance or opportunity to fix all this kind of okay, issues here next one what are your okay roles and responsibility hey if your role is less than three years you will tell my role is developer and my responsibilities are and my responsibilities are no mainly focused on focused on development only greater than three years you would tell hey my role is senior developer and my responsibilities are develop focused on development and also and also and also involved in and also involved in client calls comma helping to team members helping to team members if they struck if they struck anywhere keep they struck on coding and all what is the deployment process see if it is like a deployment process means you have to explain team you have to explain how this uh, you have to explain how this your code you, we will be talk you know you have to explain developer developer commit the code into git get your jenkins is there jenkins will get this source code from the git what this okay, jenkins will do Com compile the code okay execute the unit test cases and execute the unit test cases and okay execute the pmds if all okay okay if all okay then build image using docker okay push the image into container i'm sorry push the image into docker hub or ec2 or whatever it now pull the image and deploy the application application into server you have to explain team if you don't know what is this you will tell i did not get opportunity to work on this cacd but i know my devops team is taking care of to do the deployment process team understood sometimes your interviews are asking hey what are the linux commands we have used in our project in our project we are using linux commands ls minus l in our project we are using pwd and also so many commands are there tail minus f okay and you know file name and uh, ch minus ch mode iphone rf triple seven read write permissions next one how to remove the 
files rm minus rf remove the file name understood team now next one what is the okay, next one here like that so many linux commands are there you have to explain in front of the interviewer interviewer feel like yes this guy is the real experienced guide on guy on look at doubling get w get url to download the uh, any software from the okay, internet and so on so many linux commands are there you should be okay explain all these commands team then here here they would be asking questions on git simple they will be asking can you explain what are the git commands you are using in your project can you explain what is the git to branching strategy how the you are you are client using git to branching strategy now last one what are the problems you have been faced with git can you okay explain okay now okay okay problems with git you have to okay, explain here here all the commands you have to explain here development branch release branch master branch everything you should explain team here so here you have to explain in our project do we have a okay, development branch we have a uh, okay master branch and we have a release branch how the process will be there you need to explain so many git commands are there git to clone git to push comma pull comma hmm, still what happened git commit comma git init so many git commands are there you have to explain all this git commands team what are the problems you should be asked now while you are merging the code okay merging code issues so okay problems you have to okay, explain team next one what took okay, tech stack you have used in your project team in our project you should explain i got the opportunity to work on this project jdk 8 spring boot comma micro services comma aws comma docker comma redis cache comma kafka comma and so on you should explain and also plus 25 and also plus 25 java real time tools 25 plus java real time tools we have used in our project to team these days interviews are crazy on asking some questions on coding questions programming logical questions on especially jdk 8 using stream apis they would be asking hey find out max salary employee from employee list using using stream apis simple team in stream api you have a method is called max method team how to you know find out employee list in sorting order this is also simple you have a method is called sorted method stream api everything is easy team earlier you have to write some huge logic using stream api you don't need to write logics your stream api will take care team you have to use method is called filter team in stream api okay very simple team it is okay you will see practically in our jdk 8 futures after that it will move to the rest api interviews are asking have you worked on a provider or consumer if it is provider hey what are the steps required to develop you know provider part write the pseudo code what are the steps required develop the consumer part write the pseudo code how to communicate to apis what is swagger difference between http get and post few questions you can expect from headers what is your api so response time or okay, sla 
what is the traffic or load of your APIs? What data format you are usually in your project? What is JSON serialize and deserialize? What are the JSON annotations? Can you write your project in JSON request and response structure? How do you test your APIs? What is Postman collections? How did you share your Postman collections to other developers or QE teams? What is API versioning? How it implemented is very, very important team. We will see all these answers in our, our real time project batch team. Next one questions on Spring Boot and micro services. What is Spring version? Types of like, dependency injection. Explain Spring Core annotations. How many? Spring scopes is very, very important. Spring Bean lifecycle. Spring versus Spring Bean. I mean, Spring Boot. Spring Boot main features. How to load the properties file and get the values from it? What are the profiles team? Can you explain Spring Boot normal jar and Spring Boot fat jar or Spring Boot executable jar? What happened when Spring Boot application dot run? How auto configuration will work internally? How to run Spring Boot application in production? They would be asking some questions on microservices and monolithic applications. So all these questions you have to answer team. Next one. How you are handling of exceptions in our project? Can you tell few of the okay, exceptions you got during your project deployment and development? Just interviews are testing. Is this guy real like experienced guy or not? Can you write this pseudo code? What are the test cases you have been usually in your project? They can ask more questions on J unit, J unit annotations, mock it or how you are mock your static class, how you are mock. So many questions they would be asking team. How do you mock final class? Okay, or how do you mock static class, static methods? So many things that they would be asking, right? Now, next one How much code coverage in our project? What tools you are using? You are using either Coverture or Jaka Code team. How are you finding code vulnerabilities, even security issues? What tools you are using? PMDR check marks team. What are the collections you have used in our project? In our project, I got the opportunity to write list, list set and map team. Can you write this pseudo code or skeleton code? How you have implemented collections in our project? How you have implemented collections in our project team? Next one. What is polymorphism where you have used in our project? What is encapsulation where you have used in our project? What is string comma string builder comma string buffer where you have used in our project? What are the design patterns you have used in our project? Do you know Java concurrency? Did you implement parallel calls in our project? Can you explain? Can you write this some pseudo code sample code? How you have implemented in our project? Okay, questions on some code quality tools like PMD and Sonar. Last question. What are the day to day activities in your project to team? These FAQs are most of the interviews are asking these days. You should be more practice team. Top 10 questions are very, very important. Project architecture, project technical flow, project security, project, uh, you know, modules. How many, uh, you know, you have, okay, how many, uh, you know, what is your roles and responsibilities? Uh, what are the problems or the risk you have implemented? All you should take care team, okay? So if you want answers for all in depth, if you want, in depth if you want to give answers you can get you know like uh, you can go with like eight years ten years experience take java real-time project course in Sinotech 
and you will clear all this FAQs answers and also you will get more hands on hands on you will get all this okay, real time okay FAQs team okay thank you all thank you you will catch up in our okay, regular classes of java real time project thank you all yeah thank you